Hey guys, Dee Dee here. How are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. So today I thought I would go over some of the plants that I am struggling with and um, why did I want to do this video? I don't know. I feel like some of, well, people out there might think that, you know, no one struggles with their plants and that, you know, everything's always hunky-dory all the time. And I just wanted to kind of make this video to be like, well, that's not the case. <laughs> you know, we all have plants that we struggle with and so yeah I wanted to show you guys some of the plants that I'm struggling with and um yeah hopefully you know make you guys not feel so alone out there if you are struggling with any plants that you have so let's get into it <laughs> you're probably wondering like why am I out here on my landing well you know where I have these plants it's just not aesthetically pleasing at the moment so I kind of you know I just wanted to show you them out here oh and it's like a lot brighter out here as well so we have a whole random bunch and of course of course there are calathea here because you know who does not struggle with the calathea so this was my gorgeous white star and I have absolutely no idea what happened like I really don't know what happened I obviously had a big throat outbreak you guys know that and this plant started to decline so obviously I cut the tip off and that's why it's brown again but it started to get a lot of leaves that were looking like this with this kind of you know uh what do you call it kind of marking on it and then it also looked like it could have had throat and I checked this plant over so many times like ridiculously you know like with a magnifying glass I got up in there and looked and I could not see any pests at all and so I couldn't figure out like why are these leaves just dying off so much and it just got to the point <laughs> there was so many more leaves that I've literally just cut them off so like this one I've cut off and you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait and obviously there is new growth coming now but it's still not healthy it's still not doing great and I don't know what it is exactly I think maybe I'll have to change out the media that it's in because it has been in this pot for oh my god when did I even get this plant I think two years ago <laughs> so I probably do need to change the media because I'm not quite sure how long it takes cocoa core to break down but I do know when it starts to break down obviously it gets more acidic and that's you know not great for the plant and as you can see there's this new growth that came out and look at it already like it, it's already smushed you know like it's already it's already messed up so <laughs> I just I don't know this was thriving so well for me like over the warmer months so I think that's probably why it's just too cold the air is too dry and yeah I mean I've, I'm not gonna lie I've been a bit lazy with the humidifier but uh it's just so sad because you know they're so gorgeous so I don't know I'm gonna obviously hold out hope because they do you know come back so hopefully I, if I can keep this growth, you know, looking semi-decent, uh, it'll be all right. And then, you know, we just might get rid of that one. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the first plants I'm struggling with. And then the next one, I, I've spoken about this like forever. So this is my Calathea ornata. And um, I've just realized, yeah, that's like probably salt build up or dry. I need to probably repot that, even though I just repotted this not too long ago. I don't know, maybe it's dry. Anyway, yeah, this is my Calathea ornata. Same thing happened like with this one and like to this one. They basically had the same conditions. And again, I don't know what it was. There, I, I, I think it could have been spider mites, but again, I didn't see any evidence of pests. So they literally just declined and really quickly as well, but I didn't see any sign of pests. So I just, I don't know. I think they just hate me. Like they really do just hate me and they hate the winter and... <laughs> That's just all I can say, like Calathea, they're really just not, they are not fun plants, man. I don't know how you guys, if you do have Calathea, how you keep them alive, because I just, I, I can't, like, it's, it's such a struggle bus. So yeah, I basically cut this plant all the way back, um, and because I, I did knew, know that this was already growing underneath, I think I took it out to repot it, because I was going to chuck it away, and then I saw, you know, it had this, like, one little growth, and so I was like, oh, screw it, let's give it a chance, and... I mean, it's growing, but it's probably going to go <laughs> go the way as with every other leaf that I've had on this plant and just crisp up immediately and just die. So honestly, I'm going to I'm going to give it a chance again. You know, this is like, I think the third year that I'll be giving it a chance. And, you know, if it doesn't do anything, honestly, like I, I just don't want like I don't I don't need this stress in my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they may just be going in the compost pile. 
And then, yeah, this guy as well. Oh my God, look how sad it looks. This is my Tenanthe Belmarxia, I think is what it's called. This had thrip so badly. Like, oh my Lord. They just loved this plant like so much. And uh, we're down to one leaf because again, I, uh, I cut everything back. I don't think this will survive. Honestly, I don't think it will, which is really sad because I love I love this plant. Like it's gorgeous. And the other Tenanthe I have is so easy care. So I, I don't even know again what happened with this one. I think it's a combination of it got thrip, it didn't recover and me just not watering enough. <laughs> Cause honestly, again, uh, you know, all, all the secrets coming out right now, but I, I just get a bit lazy with watering these plants up here. So again, I'm holding out hope that it will survive, but um, you, you can see like, oh my God, it looks terrible. <laughs> Like, oh dear lord, does that look terrible? But you never know. There could be new growths that will emerge when it starts to get, you know, a bit warmer. So again, I'm crossing the fingers. This whole Marantaceae family is just a bit of pain in my ass. And then uh, <laughs> another tragedy. This actually isn't, you know, to do anything with like thrip or anything like that. It was just an accident. It really was a tragic accident. And this is my piccolo bander, my peperomia piccolo bander. It fell from a great height and smushed itself. And uh, this is what is left. So you can see if my camera wants to get up there. We have one little leaf. Oh wait, there's another little leaf coming. I, just, I, can, I can see it in the video. Sorry, this is really shaky, isn't it? There we go. I'm trying to hold it as, as, as like gently as possible. So there is another leaf coming. That was what's left. And then I have this entire prop box of the cuttings, like the leaves that fell off. Uh, and I'm trying to propagate them, you know, to get another giant plant that I can, uh, you know, hopefully put together with that and then have a glorious little plant again. I'm so sad, but you know, like stuff like this happens all the time and you just gotta try and make the best of it. So, you know, I try, I try to save as many cuttings as I could. Um, there's a good few in here, whether they'll survive, I don't know, because I find this peperomia this one's just a lot more difficult than the other peperomias that I have and I don't know why. Like all the other peperomias I have are so like easy going. They're quite you know like easy maintenance like you water them every once in a while and they can handle like a range of you know bright light to kind of like medium light if you know what I mean. But this one I have no idea like what it likes. Like it it dries out, like it dried out all the time. So I had to water it all the time. I tried it in a more water retentive media. That kind of helps a little bit, but even then it just, it was like thirsty all the time. It didn't like the uh, grow light on it. I tried it in a shady position. It didn't like that either. <laughs> so it was just like, what do you want? You know, it was just one of those peperomia that uh, I've, it, it shouldn't be that difficult. And I don't know why it is. So like my pixie lime is doing so well. And this one, like all my other pepperoni are pretty much doing okay, except for this one. So I, I don't know, I, I have to try it out, I think in maybe a different location and maybe, you know, just stick everything in the plant room because everything loves it in there. So yeah, <laughs> that's the, the tragedy, tragic story. But again, it's not so tragic because I was, I managed to save some of them. So hopefully, you know, It'll, it'll, they'll, they'll continue to grow and then I have some to give away to friends as well so okay and we're in my bathroom now I'm just kind of going around my house and finding all the plants that I'm like struggling you know struggling with so the plant I'm struggling with at the moment in the bathroom <laughs> is my Madagascar palm now admittedly I haven't done a lot of research on this guy so I don't know if, if this is normal uh, I could probably you know just chuck in a quick google search and be like why why look like why is it you know, going brown and losing leaves. <laughs> you know, oh look, there again, another leaf just fell off. Um, and it'll probably give me an answer very quickly. So yeah, I mean, obviously I should, I should research it. Can I be bothered? Not really, because <laughs> to be honest, this isn't, you know, I like this plant, but at the same time, you know, like it's not one of my, you know, like prized possessions kind of thing. But yeah, I have no idea why it's doing this. Uh, I know it's root bound, so it could probably do with a repot. But it is a succulent, so I'm trying not to give it like, you know, loads of water. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, it. oh my God, I just noticed there's another leaf as well. So yeah, it just, it keeps dropping leaves. It just keeps and dropping leaves. And I think it is producing new leaves. 
So I don't know that like, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I don't know why it's doing this and struggling so much. Or, or maybe it's not struggling at all. Maybe this is completely normal. I don't know, but it's just kind of unsightly. Like this is just like, you know, it doesn't look very nice. So <laughs> yeah, I have to get on Google. And if you have this plant and you like, you know why it's doing this, then let me know. Otherwise, you know, I'll put in a note once I find out why it's doing what it's doing. But and then we come to the saddest thing of light. You can't really, this light is kind of, we're, we're facing a window. I don't know where's like a good position to put this where you guys can actually see the tragedy. <laughs> this is the sad, sad tragedy. I, oh my God. So this is my um, Lepismium Bol Bolivianum, I think is the name. Is that even how you say it? I don't remember. And yeah, look at it. It has desiccated so much. Now, I didn't actually realize when I got this, and this is completely my fault because I didn't look it over enough. It had mealies, it had thrip. I don't know what else it had, but it kind of declined very quickly. And I have tried to take propagations of this guy and save it. They all rotted as well. So, yeah, and the, these these are just on the way out. Like, look at it, look at it. I think after this video, I am totally gonna be putting this in the compost bin because it's just, it's so tragic. And yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it's just desiccated even more. Obviously, yeah, it had pests, but I thought I treated them. I did repot it and it just, it didn't get better. It, it just really didn't get better. And it's really sad because this was such a gorgeous plant, but you know, again, <laughs> Things like this happen. Sometimes we get plants and it is just their mission to die. Like they just come into your life to die. And I think that this one, <laughs> this one is one of them. So, oh dear Lord. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. I am going to try again and save some more cuttings and see if these, you know, cuttings will, will survive for me. And if not, then, you know, I'll try again one day. And uh, yeah, oh my God, the more I'm looking at this, it's just, it's, it's hideous. It really is. But yeah, sad times, man, sad times. We're in the plant room now, and uh, I thought I would show you some more plants that I'm struggling with. I'm sorry, the light, it's like, let me see if it, uh, does that make it better? I don't know if it does. So we have my Anthurium clarinavium that I have moved down here. And that is because I split the plant. So it got threw up again. And then because of that, I left it in the bathroom where, you know, I kept putting it back in the shower where, you know, the the shower floor was wet and it kept on absorbing moisture and that was my fault because I wasn't paying enough attention and then it got cold and it got root rot. So when I was trying to repot them, they wouldn't go back in the same pot together anymore. So I was like, screw it, let's just uh, separate them. And one of them's not doing so great. This one seems to be doing a lot better. So this is its newest leaf that's put out and it, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and it's gorgeous and I love it. It's not the best looking plant, uh, obviously, because it's only got, what, four leaves now and that that leaf has a giant hole in it. But it's it's doing a lot better now. I'm still kind of struggling a little bit with the other one upstairs. It dropped like three leaves and... It, 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 I mean, it hasn't dropped any more leaves since, but I, I don't know. Hopefully the root rot is gone. I didn't have any hydrogen peroxide on hand to, you know, treat the root rot. So I did just repot them and then I didn't water them for about five, six days just to let, you know, let them acclimatize and, you know, hopefully let the rot not spread anymore because, you know, you don't want to water already rotted roots. I, I did try and cut off, you know, as many as I wanted, but I wanted those wounds to like seal and stuff. So yeah i mean this one is, is is doing you know better the other one is it's kind of you know iffy so oh it's sad but you know i'm glad at least that one's like still alive and then down here i feel i feel like it will well it's been doing a lot better since i've i've had it down here so you know cross the fingers that uh no more <laughs> problems will arise with that one Yes, there's an old wine bottle there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I've stuck my like fungus nap thing in it. But yeah, this guy. Oh my lord, can you see? There is one leaf, two leaf, three leaf. It is dropping leaves like a mofo. And I don't know why. So this is new growth. But it's going yellow already. And this is also new growth. 
But yeah, I don't know what's going on with this guy. I had him in a kind of shadier position and he seemed to like it a lot. And then suddenly he started, you know, declining and dropping all of his leaves. So I repotted him. I put him in a different mixture because it looked like he was potted in like plain peat. Sorry, that's just the cable for like my little mini humidifier up there. But um, he was in pure peat and I just was like, maybe, you know, a change of media would help changed it he was doing okay and now now he's just again dropping all of these leaves and you know there was leaves all here all up up here they're, they're, they're gone now and you can see this is like going yellow this is going yellow I've checked it for pests there are no pests they're getting a pesticide kind of systemic treatment so that you know pests hopefully won't eat them and yeah, I don't know what this guy wants. I don't know what he wants and I'm just, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with it so much and it's so pretty. Um, and I just noticed though, there is this tiny, can you, can you see that? The tiny little new growth there. But I don't know, if it keeps dropping leaves, then, you know, it's not going to have enough leaves to photosynthesize. So I, I just, I can't, I can't figure this, this one out because I know it says it's a low light plant and it did really well in low light until one day it just it, it just didn't like it anymore and it just literally dropped like five leaves in in no time at all so if you guys have this plant and you know you know how to take care of it please let me know so this is a dracaena so oh my god it 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 just came off okay maybe uh i didn't even tug on that okay well there you go now we're one leaf down <laughs> one leaf less uh so this is actually a Dracaena circulosa. If you have this plant, let me know like what it needs because at this point now, it, it it's just looking sad. I don't know if I can maybe like propagate it. I might have to like cut it and see if it will propagate because oh my god, this is looking like more of a disaster as every day goes by. So yeah, those are just some of the plants that I'm kind of like struggling with at the moment. I'm you know struggling to keep them alive and like getting you know struggling to keep them going until like it starts to warm up because we have had oh my god has it been freezing for the past like week like week and a half it has been like minus whatever for like days it's so cold so i'm hoping you know we're all praying for the for the warmer months and the warmer weather and the longer days ah oh, seriously i can't wait so i'm hoping that when you know spring rolls around starts to get a bit warmer all of these plants will you know perk up and hopefully do better and obviously i i need to do a little bit better with my with my care for some of these guys because again you know we all do it we get a bit lazy with taking care of our plants and then you know they they, they don't always do so well <laughs> so yeah are there any plants that you're struggling with like just in general or over the winter months and if they are you know let's get a conversation going down below and that's it really, I have nothing else to say. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, you are more than welcome to. And yeah, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I will catch you guys soon with another one. Bye.